Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara and I'll be showing you how to do this pink eyeshadow look. I'm using my Morphe 25L Live-In Color Palette. It was a limited edition palette from last June, but the shades are pretty basic and I'm sure you can find them in any colorful eyeshadow palette on the market today. Yeah, stick around and stay tuned to see how to do this simple look. For today's look, I'm starting with my eye, so I'm using my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is a recommendation from Emily Noel 83 who's one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. So I definitely bought it on her recommendation only. And so I had a little bit of trouble in the beginning, so I started blending the pink shade in this palette called Sexuality into my crease and this shade is a little patchy on its own so i wish i went in with a different color to start with so as you can see i'm blending with um the white shade which is called milk just to soften out some of the harshness and the patchiness from the shade so i'm just going back and forth Going back in and I'm putting sexuality on my outer corner as well to try to cover up again some of the patchiness. Sorry for the lighting as well. I'm I just use natural lighting today, so it was coming in and out a little weird. After blending sexuality, I go in with the shade hashtag loves wins, which is like a muted fuchsia color. And I think that really helped take out some of the patchiness. And I focus this color more directly in my crease. After that, I'm taking the shade SF, which is a dark magenta with some gold glitter. But when you tap it out, the glitter kind of falls away. And I'm putting SF on my outer corner. After blending my crease, I'm taking the shade Culture on my finger. It's like a shimmery satin peach. And I'm just putting that on um, the first two thirds of my eyelid. I don't wanna go with anything super shimmery today, so I kinda liked the way that looked. And then I'm just taking um, my blending brush, which had sexuality on it, just blending that out. After finishing my eyes for now, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Focus Primer. It's almost done, so it's getting a little hard to squeeze out. But I'm going to be priming my forehead, my nose, and the tops of my cheeks. Um, I had work today, so I am not doing a full face of makeup because I'll be wearing a mask. And then I'm going in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector in the shade Medium, and I'm just going to tap that in underneath my eyes to cancel out my darkness. After that, I'm taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand, and I'm just putting a couple of dots on my forehead, a stripe down my nose, and just a little bit underneath my eyes. Now I'm taking my Ecotool sponge on the small flat side, and I'm just going to be blending that in. Once I finish blending, I realize I want a little bit extra brightness underneath my eyes, so I'm taking the same concealer in the shade Fair Beige, just one dot underneath each eye, and I'm just going to be blending that in. After that, I'm taking my e.l.f. finishing powder in the shade Fair Light, taking my e.l.f. tapered brush, and I'm just patting that in everywhere I put the concealer down. Now I'm just going to tap out the creases underneath my eye before I press in my powder. So underneath my eyes, I definitely press in my powder as opposed to sweep it because I find that it helps set it better. 
Now I'm taking the yellow banana shade in my e.l.f. contour palette and I'm just pressing that in as well. Then I'll be taking my makeup mist and set, putting on a couple of mists, and then I'll be blending that in with um, the clean side of my sponge. My eyebrows, same thing, I'm just using my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Pencil and I'm just going to do my eyebrows like I normally do. To set my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Benefit Gimme Brow Sample. I think the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel does just as good of a job. So I personally am not going to buy the full size of this product. Just because I think my $4 brow gel works just as well. Now I'm taking my ColourPop highlighter in the shade Dreamscape. It was a limited edition in Kathleen Light's collab. But this highlighter is like the perfect color for me. I'm just going to be putting that... Um, heavy on my inner corner like I always do. I love a bright inner corner. I think it really wakes up my face. Now for my waterline, I'm going to be taking my NYX pencil. It's in the white shade. This is my first time using it. Uh, they are sold out of the Wonder Pencil, which is like the skin tone pencil that I normally use. So I'm trying the white to see if it looks super harsh. Then I'm taking a flat shader brush. Sorry that I totally covered my face here with um, the pink shade Sexuality. And I don't go super heavy. I just put it really up close towards my lashes so that I just balance out the top and the bottom half of my face. Now I'm just tight lining my upper lash line with my Douce Black Eyeliner Pencil. I really like this eyeliner. I think it doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer, and it was a good Ipsy bag purchase. After that, I'm just going to curl my lashes. My lash curler is still a little stiff, so I don't curl them as much as I normally do. And for mascara, I'm taking my um, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I like this mascara. I don't know if I would spend the money on the full size, but the sample is definitely good. For my lower lash line, I'll be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara and I'm just going to put that on my lower lashes. Now for my lips, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer left on my sponge around my mouth. Then I'm going to be taking my Revlon Ultra HD lip color that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day last year. And I didn't really like the way that this color matched the eyeshadow once I put it on. Um, so I go in with my Nivea lip balm in the shade Blackberry. And I just felt like that darkened up the look. But for my outro, I patted it off. I hope you enjoyed today's look. And stick around for more looks. I did a poll on my Instagram, which is um, at Makeup with Tara, same as my YouTube channel. Um, and so my next video will be blue eyeliner. So I'll be doing more polls over there to see what videos you guys want to see. So if you have any suggestions, you can comment on my Instagram posts or you can comment on this video. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!